No, I'm going to give you a demonstration. Is the new program is called Teaching English as a Second Language, TESOL for short. <laughs> See, the sides of my tongue are loose. I can move them. Dr. Houtsmith has been in the field of ESL for over 30 years and thought it was unusual that the university didn't have a TESOL program. We were due for a program like this, and so um, I had the opportunity to actually start the program. The TESOL degree, although new, is designed to prepare students to learn how to teach English in the United States and in other countries. Speakers, And this year has been the first year that we've actually um, had the courses start. The TESOL program works similarly with the TEFL program. So the bachelors in TEFL will allow students to be able to go um, overseas and teach English as a foreign language. Dylan Hartle, who's a junior in the TESOL program, is one of the students taking classes who was inspired to teach English after traveling to Japan. Right, get ready. It's almost Valentine's Day. I really love teaching. So I, I knew after traveling that I was really interested in working with students Don't that had a, a real That's need. Right I could place. see the need for That's students right. that, um, I mean, they needed English, right? Yeah. Hartle's love for teaching can combine with his recognition of the need for access in learning different languages. The favorite part of teaching is no matter who you're teaching or what you're teaching, it's All right, I'm here. seeing students light up <laughs> when they understand something. With photographers James McCarty, Robin Rohde, and Jacob Ambrose. Let's try some more. Irene. Melissa Gonzalez, Irene. Campus News.